Hi everyone, Hope Play Kate. So today I have a very late March, April and reasonably normal timed May favourite. So apologies that I've not done a monthly favourite in about three months, but I went on holiday and then life kind of got in the way and then before I know it, it's the end of May. So I've got three months worth of favourites to talk to you about, so hopefully we won't be here for too long. Right, let's get started. First of all, I'm going to talk about a favourite fake tan that I was using loads before I went on holiday. Um, this is the Coco Brown by Marissa Carter, the fake tan. There's been a lot of hype about this lately. I saw Millie McIntosh promote this on her Instagram and her tan looked really nice and natural. This is great if you don't want to look too tan, too orange. It's just a really nice, natural, light golden tan. You can obviously build it up. I'm one of those people that does two to three layers because I like my tan to be nice and dark. But if you want just a natural glow, you just want to look like you've been on holiday for like a week or so, then definitely pick this up. It dries really quickly. It says that you can use it in an hour. Personally, I tend to sleep in it because I think if you did it in an hour, you maybe wouldn't get as an intense um, colour, but if you're quite pale, that might be something that you could use. It's about 7 99 so it's under a tanner, reasonably quite cheap, and it's quite good at fading as well. You usually get about three to four days before it starts to fade, but as long as you keep on top of exfoliating and moisturising, you can avoid the whole patchy look, which is just not good. But yeah, definitely recommend picking up this tan. Um, yeah, so really, really like that. Whilst I'm on the subject of tanning, obviously tanning safely is very, very important and I really struggle to find a good face sun cream because so many sun creams for your face break me out and there's nothing worse than going on a holiday where you want to wear not very much makeup but you have to because you've got like massive spot on your chin or something. Anyway, the La Roche-Posay, um, this is the Amphilios XL 50 Plus um, face sun cream. It's really, really good. It's got a nice high coverage of um, 50 plus. It means that you're not going to get those nasty wrinkles or sunspots. Um, also, it's, a, it's there's a, a little goes a long way. If you put too much on, you will literally look like Casper the Ghost, which isn't necessarily a good look. Um, so be warned of that. But it's really nice and thick. It doesn't feel too heavy on the skin. And most importantly, it doesn't break me out. So if you've got oily breakout prone skin, definitely would check out the La Roche-Posay um, sun cream range for your face because it's one of the few ranges that doesn't break me out in spots, which is just like a godsend when I'm on holiday. Right, then let's continue this whole bronzed theme as it's going on. My favourite bronzer recently has been the Liz Earl Radiant Glow Bronzer. And this is their part of their limited edition spring range. I think it's available till October though, so you haven't got to rush out and buy it straight away. But basically it's got like four shades, um, like light, dark and highlightery. And it just kind of gives a really gorgeous golden glow, just makes you look really sun-kissed. It's got a bit of highlight, so it gives you a nice sheen. Um, I think this would be great for pale girls as well as like tan girls. It's not too in your face because it's got all the colours. But yeah, a really surprising bronzer. I was not expecting to like this at all, but I've just not stopped using it. It just gives you that really gorgeous sun-kissed glow that you kind of have when you come off holiday and then about two days later after being in the rainy UK, it just disappears. So this has been helping me keep my Florida glow, even though it is gone well back there. I don't know where I'm pointing at all. My favourite base, probably for the past three months, I've been using this since March, is the Benefit Big Easy BB Cream. This is amazing. It's basically quite a light to medium coverage BB cream slash tinted moisturiser. But the best thing is they've obviously thought about oily girls because tinted moisturisers, BB creams, they tend to be quite light and they just end up turning quite greasy at the end of the day, which is just never a good look. But this is really good. It's quite matte, but also gives you that nice radiant glow at the same time. And it's really long lasting. I used this the whole time I was in Florida and this was like 30 degree heat. And I'd literally need to powder once a day. It kind of kept the shine under control. Um, sorry, I'm just looking at Frankie because he's outside and I just want to make sure he's not digging in the garden. Um, but it just keeps the shine under control. It's a really nice coverage and the colours were really good as well. So I'm currently using the shade number four, which is medium because I've still um, got it. Yeah, so it's really, really nice. So if you've got oily skin but want that light kind of moisturising BB cream, definitely worth picking it up. Another benefit product that I'm not sure if I spoke about in my last favourites videos, but I'm going to mention it again because it's amazing. Now, I am absolutely rubbish when it comes to doing my eyebrows. I just don't know what it is, but I'm not very good at plucking them, I'm not very good at filling them in. So I like nice, easy products that aren't going to make me look like Charlie from Busted. And the Benefit Gimme Brow is like the brow product to answer all my prayers. It's a brow mascara which kind of fills everything in, sets it all in place, doesn't feel too sticky so it doesn't feel like you've got Botox. It just kind of does everything for me without me having to put too much effort in which is exactly what I love. Now I will say that if you're a pro at filling your eyebrows, you're good with all that kind of shit, 
then this is probably not going to be for you. You're probably going to get this and think, this does nothing for me, it's not what I want. But if you're like me, you're rubbish with your eyebrows, you can't be asked to sit there with a brush, like, fill them in perfectly every day, like, and you're really cack-handed. So if I did that, I would just probably end up with a monobrow. Then definitely worth picking this up. It just kind of makes your brows look good, but you haven't really done much to them. So, yeah, it keeps them in place all day. Like, I used this when I was in America. Heat, water, all that kind of stuff my brows stayed in place so definitely worth getting but if you're good at doing your brows maybe give this a miss because I think you you probably don't need it. Next up is my favourite nail polish of the last three months and it's one I'm actually wearing right now we won't go too closely because it's a little bit chipped so a uh, bad beauty blogger it's the but I can't talk Barry M jelly um in the colour sugar apple it's obviously a dupe of the mint candy apple from Essie but I like it more it's a little bit more neon it's a little bit more bright and I just absolutely love it it's not amazing for chips, like this chips within about two days, it's just a bit of a bummer, but I love the colour so much and I love the formula, I can kind of get over having to paint them every couple of days. So this has probably been my most worn nail polish from the past few months, I just can't get enough of it and it looks great with a tan as well. My favourite perfume recently has been a bit of a weird one, it's the new One Direction perfume, it's called That Moment. I didn't know what to think of this because I always kind of associate celebrity perfumes as being a bit cheap and not very nice smelling, which is probably really awful to say. But um, I kind of thought this would be targeted at like little girls and even though I love One Direction I kind of thought it would be like a really young sickly scent. It's not at all, it's an amazing scent. It smells a bit like the Marc Jacobs perfume so if you like Lola and Dot and those ones I can't think of any others off the top of my head. But it's just really fruity and grown up and I tell you what if you sprayed this you wouldn't think it was One Direction. So. I've been really enjoying using it, it's really really nice. Um, I'm not really a fan of the bottle, but you know, it kind of fits in with my room, the whole pink thing. Um, but yeah, definitely go give it a sniff because it will surprise you and it's quite long lasting as well. And I think this bottle is only like 19 99 which isn't too bad for a perfume. Okay, so carrying on, I have got a new bourgeois product back in my life and it's the nail polish, magic nail polish remover for your hands and feet. Now, if you're like me, you're a bit lazy or you don't like cotton wool, like cotton wool just gives me the creeps. For some reason, I don't know why, but I just don't like it. Um, this is great because basically it's like a sponge filled with nail polish remover. You pop your finger in, takes it off within two seconds. And they've brought one out that's got this little sponge on the top so you can use it for your toes as well. So it makes removing finger and toenail varnish so much quicker and easier. So yeah, I've been absolutely loving it. It's been making the paint of my nails so much quicker. And then Bourjois have released another product called Instant Dry, which has kind of made the whole process of waiting for them to dry so much easier and faster, which is amazing. Basically, it's just like a quick dry nail polish. It's got like a dropper, so you drop like this oil onto your nails. It feels really weird. It doesn't feel like nail polish at all. And then your nails just dry within like 30 seconds. It's incredible. And they're like properly dry. They're not like dry that if you touch something, they will smudge. They are dry as a bone, which is just incredible. So... Basically, Bourjois have been amazing at bringing out some nail polish things recently. So if you're lazy and don't like waiting for your nail polish to dry, then definitely pick up those products because they are a lot. I've been absolutely loving these Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet Lip Products, which I'm sure um, many other bloggers and vloggers have been loving recently too. Um, I've got the colour Hot Pepper, which is a really nice red. Like, even I don't mind wearing this red, and you all know kind of my scaredy catness of... Um, Right, lips, a fusionary colour which is called Pink Pong, which I think is the most amazing name. And then finally Peach Colour, which is what I've got on today, like a matte peachy nude colour. These just stay on the lips all day, they're super easy to apply and they're like under a tenner as well. So what more could you want? So yeah, so I've got all those, I've been absolutely loving them. I've been kind of getting more into bright lips lately as the weather's been warming up. So, But those are like the perfect things to use because you just know they ain't going to go nowhere. So that was a very late March and April favourites and May favourites too. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe to see more. And hopefully I will keep on top of the favourites videos for the upcoming months. So I hope you're all good and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!